Hi, my name is Grace Hinman. I am homeschooled in 11th grade and a worship leader here at 2nd. Um, so I'm not really used to speaking in front of people. It's more like singing, but I thought it wouldn't be so appropriate to sing my message. <laughs> So I grew up in a Christian home, always praying and um, reading, reading Bible stories and talking about church and how it was and, you know, knowing right from wrong. But my freshman year and my sophomore year, I really started to realize and dig into who God was and who he wanted to be, me to be as a person. So I just... I didn't know what to do, and so I just, I read my Bible, and I really dug into who he wanted me to be, and sooner or later, I found out that I was striving for God, and I was doing great, and I made sure everyone at school knew me as that, and that it was just a great place for me, and, but I, um, I kind of became selfish, and I wanted an identity of my own, and a title of my own, and not of God. So I kind of turned to a lot of people of lying and becoming someone I wasn't to become someone I wanted to be. And this led to a lot of being scared and just a dark time in my life. I thought that I wanted to be this person, but I knew I wasn't supposed to, but I was trying to hide it. Now this was me, this so-called Christian girl who completely abandoned God and abandoned everything she was passionate about to become this popular girl and this girl that knew her identity in herself and not in God. Months went by and I didn't know, it didn't go like quite as I expected. I thought that I would get this popularity and I would get all this affection and just no judgment towards me like I did when I was this Christian girl. And it did not go like that at all. And I actually um, just became to be this dark person, and I didn't know what I was doing. I was desperately trying to hide the person I was becoming to the extent where I would actually close my Bible when I was reading it if I didn't know, like, I didn't want to hear what God was telling me. And I didn't want to act upon it because I was being so selfish. And I wanted to be this person that I knew I wasn't to pretend. People from school would come up to me in the halls, and they would text me on social media or something, and they would tell me who they thought I was at this point. And I just, I got crushed because those lies and everything I was telling them were coming back to me, and I'm just like, I was actually saying that about myself. I was actually, like, doing those things, and I didn't want to be. I wanted to be this godly girl, and I, I didn't want to be this non-Christian girl anymore. So I really, something flipped in my mind because people just kept telling me this, and it became embedded in me that I was just like, this is not who I am. This person I'm telling these people, that's not who I want to be anymore. I want to really strive for Christ this time and not just for a few months. I want to do it for eternity. I want to do it for my whole life. So I actually ended up stepping out of public school and becoming homeschooled. And I've been doing that for the past year and a half, and I really like it. And I'm striving for God, and it's, it's not easy, but it's definitely been a work in progress, and I am so much stronger in my faith than I ever was before. Um, when I was going through that dark time, I actually pulled away from, I pulled away from God, and I pulled away from my family and my real Christian friends. It was not what I wanted, and it was not who I thought I wanted. Um, but now, like I said, I'm so much stronger in my faith than I ever was before, and not being stuck in sin makes such a huge difference. In Romans 6.11, it says, Likewise, you also reckon yourselves to be dead indeed to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. Now that I know that what life I should be living and how I should be living it, I will cling to Christ in knowing that he is alive and he's working in my life. Thank you.